Let's do a little refresh here, Andre. Show the haters what's good. What's up, guys? We flew out to Miami to meet with my boy Andre. What's up, dog? Today, we're going to get to know Andre and how he was able to make over $100,000 per month at 18 years old. So, Andre, give us a little intro. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, what's up, everybody? My name's Andre. I've been doing e-com since December of 2022, so I'm fairly new to the game. But um, regardless, I've been drop shipping since then. And yeah, ever since then, I've been making 100 grand a month with my brands. And yeah, started with organic, then got into paid ads, uh, which means TikTok ads, Facebook ads, Snapchat ads. And now I'm living in Miami in Brickell, in the hottest entrepreneurial area in Florida. And yeah, guys, that's a little bit about me. So how many times did you fail before you actually found that product that took you to 100K per month? Right. Um, so surprisingly, my first product was a winner, but I don't really think it was because of the product. I think it was because of the skill set. And what do I mean by that? So I started with TikTok organic, right? But before that, I came from a background of two years of content creation. So I knew all about having the right hooks, how to you know, retain customers, stuff like that. So I kind of made that product a winner. But after that, when I was testing products on paid ads, that was something I was completely new to. And it took me like 10 or 15 products before I was able to make my big break. Awesome. So how about we walk through Miami, through these nice streets, and we hear more a bit about your story and answer some questions for the audience. For sure, sounds good, let's do it. So from what I know, Andre, you've tested around like 20, 25 products. What did you do differently in this store that you're running right now, making over 100K per month, compared to the products that you tested before, which could have been small winners or not even winners at all? Yeah, so what really changed for me in the e-com game was understanding that you know women have their insecurities and you can sell to that niche very easily. You don't have to be a master marketer to solve problems, right? So for me, it was starting to test more untapped problem solving products and my hit rate went from like one in 10 or one in 15 to like one in three. So every three products I would test, I would hit a winner, right? But for this specific brand that I'm building, it's not just one-off sales, right? It's not just one-time sales. We're not looking to be super profitable uh, with our CPA on the front end. We're focusing more on the LTV, which is the lifetime value. So we're trying to get that repeat customer. So even if it costs us $30 to acquire a customer and we're only selling a product for $20, once the customer comes back and buys the same product multiple times, we're making profit exponentially. You know what I mean? So that's the focus for this product and this brand. 100% bro, and even myself, I was valuing average order value higher than LTV, yeah. and that was a complete mistake, and I've been realizing over the last like few days actually. But yeah, that's super nice to hear. Let's follow up with more questions over here in the mall. Starting out in the entrepreneurship niche and area, did you test any other business models apart from dropshipping at first? And apart from that question, my follow-up question is, do you think dropshipping is the best business model for beginners to start nowadays if they're starting with low money or just as a complete beginner in entrepreneurship? Right, well, for me, I didn't test any of the bigger business models. I did a lot of side hustles. So, you know, I started in my teens, I was in high school, but, you know, ever since I was 14, surprisingly, I was like reselling Clash of Clans accounts or Rocket League credits. Like, I was doing little stuff like that. Reselling shoes, for example, that's another business model that people do. So I was doing a bit of everything, but no, mainly it was just, you know, working a part-time, making money on the side with, uh, you know, online stuff like that, you know, freelancing, editing, Discord server building. But e -com was really like, the big business model that I sat down and said, okay, this is what's gonna change my life. And the reason I haven't tested multiple other business models is because I'm very with the philosophy that if you stick to something long enough and you force it to work, it will work. I don't get why people switch from crypto trading to Forex and then start an agency and then start e -com. Like you're not really building a skill set in one business model. You're just becoming a jack of all trades. And that's not really how to do business. You wanna get really, really good at one thing. So no matter how much I was willing to fail, I knew that eventually it was gonna work. Bro, I feel like you have so much knowledge and your capability of even just speaking and expressing your thoughts are crazy. This is not scripted at all. Like this is all off the dome. Where did you learn all these skills or where did you find yourself searching for information when you were starting out to be able to get out of that closed door and right. explore entrepreneurship? Well, first off, I appreciate the, uh, you know, the compliment, but yeah, man, I mean, for me primarily, I never really joined a high ticket mentorship, but what I did do was join a lot of communities. My boy Samir, he actually told me this, there's three C's in entrepreneurship. It's creativity, community, and credit. And I knew that I had to be part of as many communities as I possibly can to network with as many people as possible. That way, whenever I have a very niche specific issue, 
that they've probably gone through instead of Google, I can go to them, right? And they could provide the true answers. Uh, so yeah, it was just joining a lot of communities, joining a lot of calls, and then slowly with experience and time, I was able to build my skill set uh, quite rapidly. Speaking of communities, I know you have your community, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Warehouse on Discord. If people want to learn more about you or about Warehouse, where can they go check it out? Right, so they could either visit my Instagram, which uh, will probably be tagged uh, by the editor, editor, but you can either go to ecomwarehouse.org or discord.gg slash ecomwarehouse, and that's where you'll get guidance from me. Go check it out, guys. You need to learn. So if you were watching this video as a complete beginner one year ago, starting off, what would be the advice that you would give yourself or want to hear to be able to get to your results a lot faster? Honestly, as cliche as it may sound, like you have to put in the work daily, and you have to be doing efficient work. Because for me, like not a lot of people know this, but it took me three months to get my first store up. And for my e-com boys out there, you know it could take a couple hours to get a store up. You do not need to be building a website for three months straight or researching for three months straight. You just gotta throw yourself out there into the water. Okay, like you're not gonna learn how to swim without getting in the water. As much as you wanna research how to float, you're just not, okay? So really throw yourself out there start getting as much experience as possible, start losing as much money as possible, not as possible, but it sounds cliche, like you just gotta start testing products, you're gonna lose money, but you're gonna make it back, especially for younger people, which is more of your target demographic. Like, you know, for me personally, I was going to school, and I was going to work, and from the money I was making at work, I was reinvesting it into ads. So right after work, I would go home, work on e-com, and sleep during school, because I was working all night, okay? So that's my advice, just like be 100% dedicated to it, Force yourself in your mind to really believe in yourself and understand that it is going to work. It's just a matter of time. And you know, do the daily work and do efficient work. Did you ever deal with self-doubt or lack of confidence? Because I feel like a lot of people out there, even including myself beginning, dealt with that. And if you did deal with that, how did you overcome it? Now, before we continue with the rest of the video, we're gonna go quickly through our sponsors. Now, if you're dropshipping or looking to start dropshipping, AutoDS is the one and all tool that you need for your business. AutoDS is a platform where you can conduct product research, get suppliers, and even fulfill all of your orders. As you can see on my screen, AutoDS also offers a bunch of different options for you to choose from for doing product research. You can use the Marketplace, which is the home base one for AutoDS. You can use their new section called Handpicked Products, which they update every single day with new products. As you can see, this one was found 11 hours ago, this one 12 hours ago, this one 15 hours ago, so on and so forth. They have a tool called TikTok Spy where you can find the best TikTok products and rip their content for your own store. Trendy products, which as the name says, it's gonna be a filter where you can find the most up-to-date, trendiest products for you to sell. And even this cool option over here, which is POD, print on demand. Going over print on demand, you can see all the different options that they give you here to create your own custom clothing. As you can see here as well, comparing it to other POD stores, AutoDS has some of the best prices that you will find while also giving you trustworthy and reliable suppliers. So refunds won't be a hassle for your business. Let's say we were to do this kid study over here. I would click on it. And then over here, you have all the options for the different colors and sizes that you would need. You can also see the material, the information, fulfillment time, and also the note. To edit this product, you simply click this button over here. And in here you can edit your POD clothing with whatever design you're choosing to use. Once all of that is done, you can message the supplier and wait for their response so you can go ahead and start your very own first dropshipping business. If you were to use any other tool like the TikTok Spy tool, you will be able to find products that offer up to three day shipping, which is competing with Amazon. To use AutoDS, simply click the link in the description of this video, create your own AutoDS account, which the link that I'm offering will give you up to 30 days for free instead of 15. This will allow you to have extra wiggle room of time so you have less risk involved for your business. Once you create your account, you're gonna download the app on the Shopify website that you created and then connect your store to the AutoDS app and you should be all Gucci ready to start selling. As you can see here in the top left, I'm using AutoDS for the six stores that I'm currently running. Make sure to go use the link in the description. And now back to the video. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, obviously everybody has self-doubt, but I'm sure some of you guys have heard the quote, you have to outwork your self-doubt. So when I was having self-doubt, 
it was when I wasn't doing enough, right? So after my first little success with organic, I told you the story at my apartment, I was having failures with paid ads because it was something I was very new to, right? And I was just losing money, I was burning through it. And I had a lot of self-doubt that I didn't end up testing products for like two or three months. And that was when I was in my most doubtful time. But now when I'm building this brand, it doesn't matter what my day looks like, right? Whether it's like a 1K day or a 10K day, I have no doubt at all that I'm gonna get to my goals because I'm putting in so much work daily and it's such good, efficient, and productive work that there is no self-doubt. So you literally just have to apply yourself entirely. You know, you have to have room for failure, okay? And then it's a trajectory of failing upwards, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, each failure is less. You know, is you fail less and less, but you need failure. Like in my opinion, I failed similar to you, kind of like 20 stores before finding my first yeah. winner, which was $20 profit. <laughs> you know, that's what I call a winner back then. But yeah. It's about failing upwards, right? So it's only a loss if you let it be. You know what I mean? Same thing for any business model. Like, let's say you're day trading. If you have losing trades, they're not really losses because you're learning something. You're getting better and better. And the more you end up losing, surprisingly, the more you learn from it, if you allow yourself, because some people just throw money like a gamble. And the more you learn from it, the better your skill set gets, and then you can get more consistent and start making more money from it. Okay, so it's only a loss if you let it be, right? Yeah, facts. And the only failure is actually giving up. It's not actually failing. It's just a learning investment. But yeah, let's head out and keep checking out the mall. Now, as Champagne Poppy would say, for all the non-believers, tweet in the leaders. Let's do a little refresh here, Andre. Show the haters what's good. That right there is Champagne Poppy style. <laughs> there we go. All right, fire. So how long do you spend a day working on your brand or brands or all work in general? Well, honestly, right now, like as much as possible, you know, since the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, I'm honestly trying to get as much done as possible. But that's just because we have such big goals in such a short time frame that we require those kind of inputs. But at a certain point in e-commerce, um, I'm sure you could vouch for this as well. Once you have the right systems in place and the right teams in place, there's not many inputs that you can put in. You know, it's more like team management and stuff like that. Um, but currently right now, since we are, you know, just getting started with building and scaling this brand to 300K a month, you know, all waking hours of the day are going into it. But I love what I do. I'm very passionate about it. So that's why you should choose something that you love. Absolutely. Making 100K per month at 18 years old is pretty wild. It's not normal. What are some big realizations that you've come across in hitting this goal? And has your life changed at all since you were making, let's say, 10K a month and now 100K per month? Absolutely, it's changed. I mean, you know, that's a no-brainer. Going from having less than $500 in my bank account to grossing around 100K a month is a game changer, right? I mean, I live by myself in the heart of Miami. In, you know, I paid 3K a month for a one-bedroom apartment. You know, not everybody can do that and manage it and keep it that way. You know what I mean? So, and I'm not saying that to flaunt it. I'm just saying that to demonstrate how my life has changed a lot. Even like the circles that I'm around, it's not about the money, but it's about the mentality, right? So now a lot of my friends are older, you know, 26, 29, about to turn 30, 23, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm 18 years old, right? But I have the same mindset as them. So... Yeah, it's completely changed my life. Just entrepreneurship in general, more than the revenue count. I mean, even when I was a beginner, just getting started three months, six months in, I was a completely different person then than I was before I even started. You know what I mean? But yeah, 100% has changed my life. And it's gonna change everyone else's lives watching this video if they really dedicate themselves to it. How did you train your mindset and let it become what it is today? Yeah, so I don't really do this a lot anymore. And I can't really tell you why. But when I was starting my journey, I was into, you know, reading a book a week, listening to a ton of podcasts. So that's kind of what helped me at the start, kind of keep going at it and uh, forming my mind now. But yeah, lately I haven't been doing a lot of that. But at the start, it was very important to do that because that, you know, kind of sets the foundation for when you build the empire, right? Like in order to build a skyscraper, you got to dig a really deep hole. You got to have a strong foundation. So that's what it was for me. But now it's really just the people I'm around, who I choose to surround myself with, the environment, literally just... When I look out my window from my desk and I see, you know, the crazy skyscrapers and the supercars and I hear, you know, the engines revving on the street, that's what pushes me now. But, you know, when you're having, you know, 
near nothing in the bank account and you're going to school because you're forced to and you know you're working to barely afford ads it's very hard right so you do have to train your mindset but yeah again i'm not different to anybody else right like we all listen to the same podcast we all read the same books we all do the same things it's just a matter of internalizing it and then applying it you know i was actually the one who executed when i was reading i wasn't just looking at the words to say that i read a book i actually conceptualized the information and really read and understood it deeply and then applied it so yeah that's what i say you know i didn't do anything special right i did the usual and uh, eventually it just became who i was around you know and results speak for themselves we didn't even put this on camera but we were talking about it and he has a couple students doing over six figures per month because they have grabbed the information that you've given them and actually applied it right. you know if you look at the results channel on ecom warehouse i'm not just saying this like you're going to see a ton of kids doing 60K in a month, you know, 70K in a month, 90K in a month. And yeah, I mean, it's really because they're the action takers. I mean, I've had tons of students, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's a very select few that are the ones that truly make it. And it's not because the information that I'm teaching is bad. Obviously, if even one person is able to completely change their lives with e-com, the information is valuable. It's really about the application. The other day, I kicked 90 people from my server that weren't supposed to be there or weren't taking action, you know, and or were being lazy or complaining instead of doing the work, right? But it's really the people that show up every single day to every single call and ask questions every single day and try running ads every single day they can that end up making those remarkable revenue marks. I'm only doing videos with people I respect and I've studied and actually seen that get results. And I can vouch for Ecom Warehouse and you guys have to check it out. I'm not partnered. I'm not getting anything out of this. Genuinely just saying, if you want a change in your life or if you need a community, whatever it is, go check it out. We'll put it in the description. We'll link it in this video. Apart from that, Andre, I appreciate you making the time to pull up. Or no, I was the one that pulled up, but I appreciate you making the time to actually showing us around Miami and doing this video. Any last words you want to tell the audience? Yeah, guys, get to work. Simple as that. If you're, you know, sitting at home, not doing anything, just watching videos for motivation, you got to get to work because... If you don't put the inputs, you're not going to get the outputs, so get to it. And the best thing to put the input is like and subscribe. <laughs> See you guys in the next video.